In this episode, we are going to talk about Google Agent Development Kit or ADK in short. What is ADK or Google Agent Development Kit? Well, Agent Development Kit is a flexible modular framework for developing and deploying AI agents. It can be used with popular LLMs, even with open source generative AI models or tools. And of course, as it is from Google, it has tight integration from Google or it can work well with Google and Gemini models. Well, this is an open source AI agent framework and we can develop our AI applications very easily. It has some cool pre-built tools. We can build our own custom tools and it has artifact, callback, runtime and many other components which we can use to build our AI application. Let's see how we can actually do that. So first thing first, let's go into our Visual Studio code and let me create another folder. Maybe it is called Google ADK. And inside Google ADK folder, let me create another folder. Maybe Google search, something like that. And inside Google search, let me create few files. Maybe agent.py. I'll create another file which will initialize init.py and maybe one environment file where we can store our API key for Gemini. So that will be .env and that is it. And here is our terminal. Now let me change my directory to Google ADK folder. Okay, that is it. And it has this Google search folder. And let us install Google ADK. Simply you can type in pip install Google ADK. It will download all the packages which are needed for ADK. But I will be using UV. If you want to install UV, all you can do pip install UV. It is already installed. So that should be okay with me. As you see, it is already installed. And if you are wondering what is UV and how to use it, you can really check Tech with Tim and he has a really good video on UV tutorial. You can check this out. I'll put a link in the description. I will initiate one virtual environment. All I need to do UV space VNV. That is it. And you'll see it will automatically create one virtual environment here, which is called dot VNV. To activate that, what I can do, I can copy this command source and now it is activated. Now I'll install the ADK using UV pip install Google ADK and it is blazing fast. And that is it. Now ADK is installed. We can now start writing our code. What I'll do from, I'll type in from Google dot ADK dot agents import agent. Another one will be google.adk.tools import google search. So we will be creating our own agent and we will be importing google search from google tools. There are some pre-built tools which google has already released. You can create your custom tool as well. And I will create one object root agent. I will use agent and let me give it a name to my agent. Basic search agent something like that. Another argument what I need is model which model i'm going to use initially i will use gemini gemini 2.0 flash you can use anything like that and i can provide a description to this agent agent to answer questions using google search something like that and instruction so basically it can answer anything by searching the internet and finally tools another argument if i can type it right and i will be using google search and that is basically it only 10 lines of code. I'm importing two libraries like agent and Google search. I'm creating one local agent using Gemini 2. Flash. I'm giving a description like what is the purpose of that and I'm giving some instruction to it that it can answer any questions by searching the internet using Google search. And I'm providing the tools which it can use. And obviously I can pass multiple tools here. But as of now, I have only one tool, which is Google search. We can create our custom tools. We'll see that in later episodes. And all I'll do from dot in this init.py import agent. So from the local folder, import agent. That is it. And I need to put environment variables. And let me put it like this. Google Gen AI use Vertex AI is equal to false. That means we are not using Vertex AI in this case. We'll be using Google AI Studio. And I have given the API key over here. And obviously API key is really secret thing. Do not expose to the internet. I'll delete this after this episode. And if you are wondering, how did I get this API key? I'll put a video link of my previous video. You can check that out. How you can get that using Google AI Studio. And that is it. And we are all ready. Let me check. Yeah, we are at the parent folder, which is called Google ADK. 
and we can create any agent like that. I have created one agent called Google search. We can create many more and from here we can type in ADK web. We will get one web UI where we can chat with our model and let's see that. It is going to take a little bit of time. My web server has been started and I can get that at port 8000. Okay, that is good. Let me open and I can type in localhost colon 8000 and once you type in the URL like this, what are the agents are available under your parent folder? In my case, it is only Google search and let me choose that and and I get a response from the agent. Let me ask something which will come from the internet. Do you know anything about daslearning.in and let me see. And here is our quick response. It appears to be a website that provides tutorials, informations on various topics, so on. And let me ask some more questions around this, which can be fetched from the internet. What is the GitHub org of Das Learning? And let me see. Based on my search, the GitHub organization associated with Das Learning is Das Learning org. And that is absolutely correct. And as you see, with just 10 lines of code, we can run our smart agent which can fetch the internet and give you summarized answers to your query. And what is the YouTube channel? Okay, my main channel is Dash Learning and I have two more channels which is DIY Try and Dash Explore. That is again absolutely spot on. And this is it for this video. In our next episodes, we can take a look on how we can use our local LLMs using Google ADK. Thanks for watching this video. See you in next episode.